In this video, we will cover Elastic Storage Expansion on Gen 2 Exadata Clouded Customer. We will scale an existing provision Exadata infrastructure to add storage capacity and then scale a VM cluster to use this additional storage capacity and finally look at how to create a new Exadata infrastructure with additional storage servers. Let's look at how to scale an Exadata infrastructure to add storage capacity. You will first navigate to the Clouded Customer Service from the console and go to the Exadata Infrastructure and click into the infrastructure you want to scale. This infrastructure is currently provisioned with three storage servers and the available and total capacity is clearly called out. Now let's add additional storage capacity by initiating a scale request on the infrastructure. In this example, we'll add two storage servers. Make sure the storage servers are already ordered before initiating a scale request from the UI. You can navigate to the work request details to see the progress of your scale request. Once the scale request has completed successfully, you can download the configuration bundle required to deploy these storage servers on this infrastructure. Download the configuration file and pass it along to the field engineer you're working with to coordinate this deployment. The Oracle Field Engineer will work with you to ensure the requested number of storage servers are added to this infrastructure. Once the Field Engineer has completed the deployment, you will get an activation file to upload through the console. You can view the progress of the activation through the work request. Once the activation completes, these new storage servers are deployed and part of this infrastructure. Next step is to make the storage capacity from these new storage servers available for VM clusters to allocate and consume. For this, you can click on the Add Storage Capacity button from the banner, adding this additional storage capacity from new storage servers triggers a data rebalance across existing VM clusters. can view the progress of storage capacity addition through the work request. This step may take some time depending on how much capacity is in use on the disk groups of the existing VM clusters. Once the storage capacity is added, you will see the new total capacity reflected for the storage under Exadata resources. The number of storage servers is also updated to include the newly added servers. The existing VM cluster allocation should not change. All of the newly added capacity is available on the infrastructure for new or existing VM clusters to allocate and consume. Now let's look at how to scale a VM cluster to use this additional storage capacity. Navigate to the VM clusters under infrastructure resources and click into the VM cluster you would like to scale. 
As part of the scale VM cluster flow, you can change the accelerator storage capacity allocation for this cluster. The maximum storage capacity now includes the additional capacity made available from the new storage servers. The same additional storage capacity is also available for cluster allocation as part of the create new VM cluster workflow. Lastly, let's look at how you can specify additional storage servers while creating a new accelerator infrastructure. As part of the create new infrastructure workflow, you can specify the number of storage servers to include as part of your initial deployment. You can also see the total capacity which will be available from all these storage servers. Thank you for joining us today to learn about Elastic Storage Expansion on Gen2 Accelerator Cloud at Customer.